Hi there, this is a training video session by GG Technologies. From this training session you can understand how to manage Mailbox and Exchange Server 2010 before getting into Mailbox management. If you are not aware of creating Mailbox, you can check it out at the link in which you can see the Mailbox creation in Exchange 2007 which helps you in the Mailbox creation in Exchange 2010. In this training session, I am going to show you how to manage Mailbox either by selecting individual as well as bulk. First, let's see the individual mailbox management by enabling or disabling the mailbox features. For performing mailbox management at user level, you have to open Exchange Management Console and expand the recipient configuration. Then select the subkey mailbox. Now you can see the existing mailboxes in that select anyone user mailbox and right click it. Then select properties. Among the different features and options available in the mailbox properties, I select the mailbox features tab, in which you can see all the mailbox features of the user and you can disable or enable each functionality. Here, I select the mailbox, test user 1. Among the different options in the mailbox features tab, I disable the OWA feature which helps in providing the access to a Microsoft Exchange mailbox from a web browser. Now I just try to connect to the Exchange server through the web browser and log on to the OWA disabled account, test user 1. You can see the error as. In some cases, you have to manage bulk mailboxes, and in that case you cannot opt to individual mailbox management. In Exchange Server 2007, the bulk mailbox management can be done only using Exchange Management Shell, whereas in Exchange Server 2010, it can be effectively performed in both the Exchange Management Console and Exchange Management Shell. In Exchange Management Console, you can simply select all the required mailboxes in bulk and apply the changes. Here I select all the mailboxes in bulk and disable the OWA feature for all mailboxes. To analyze the changes by previous process, I type the command in the Exchange Management shell as. You can see that the OWA status is disabled for all mailboxes. To enable the OWA feature for bulk mailboxes using the Exchange Management shell, I type the command as. Once again, I check the OWA status for mailboxes. Now, you can see that the OWA status is enabled for all mailboxes. To make it more transparent, I just try to connect to the OWA interface of test user 1. Now I can successfully log on to the test user 1. This concludes our training session. In this training we have dealt with both individual and bulk mailbox management. Moreover you can also have a clear knowledge of managing mailbox both an Exchange Management Console and Exchange Management Shell. We feel happy in providing you with the training on how to manage Mailbox and Exchange Server 2010. For queries, feel free to contact us at guruji at ggtech.com. In our forthcoming training session, you can quench your thirst on how to enable Active Directory Recycle Bin in Windows Server 2008 R2. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.